Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between all of these coffee maker descaling solutions and powders. So we're going to compare distilled vinegar, the A Fresh coffee maker cleaner, the Keurig descaling solution, the Essential Values descaler and cleaner, the URNEX desale, and the coffee machine descaler by Impreza. So I'm going to talk about the importance of descaling. Here I've got a bun coffee maker. So I purchased this uh, used and it was never descaled. So inside there's the heating element. There's all the hard water deposits. And that's what I'm going to be using for my testing. And I've got some of that hard water deposits in all of these cups. So here I've got a heating element of a, out of a Keurig K Supreme. So you're going to get build up hard water deposits inside this heating element and it's going to block off that tube. Here's the heating element in some other Keurig and single serve coffee makers. This is a this is a, a tank and that's the heating element inside the tank. So here I have a traditional coffee maker with a warming plate. So underneath the warming plate, the water is going to come down the reservoir. It's going to be heated by this heating element right here. And inside this heating element, that's where the hard water deposits are going to uh, collect. So when we descale our coffee maker, this is what we're doing. I've got it cut open for demonstration. But you can see eventually that hard water will eventually close off that and, you, and your coffee maker won't heat it up, heat the water as hot as it should. So for the testing, I've got just regular um, distilled white vinegar. You can use white vinegar. I will be mixing it 50-50 just as if I was using, using it in a coffee machine. Same with the A-Fresh. This is a tablet, so I'm going to have to dissolve the tablet and mix it to the proper ratio. Same with the descaling solution. It's going to be 50-50. The, the vinegar is going to be 50% uh, vinegar, 50% water. And I'll be using 50% water, 50% um, solution on these two. And then this one is a powder in a packet, and I'll be mixing it to the proper ratio that's on the back. Okay, so let's go over some of the ingredients. So vinegar is vinegar. The A-Fresh, it does have some citric acid in it. It's also got some sodium bisulfate and sodium carbonate, sodium gelate. Now the Keurig solution, it's got just citric acid is all it says that it has. It might have some other stuff in there, but all it says on here is citric acid. The essential values, um, it doesn't have an ingredients list on it. Okay, so for this packet, it does say it has citric acid and sulfamic acid as. And then for the Impreza, it doesn't have an ingredients on it either. So as far as price is concerned, the vinegar is going to be the cheapest. The A Fresh and the URNX, these powdered packets and this tablet, that's about $2 every time you want to descale. The Keurig is going to be the most expensive. It does come in that three month um, care pack, uh, three month maintenance kit for about $15, but you can find this for about between $8 and $12. And the essential values is $8, and the Impreza is $8 also. Okay, so just one final look. This is some really hard water deposits. I got some big chunks, some powder. And we're going to mix it up and put it in there and see how it does. Okay, so they've been soaking, oh, maybe about 10 minutes. Now I'm starting to get some bubbles come off of the vinegar. The A-Fresh, it was already kind of sudsy anyway. But I am getting a few bubbles coming off. The Keurig solution, I did get, I'm starting to get a few bubbles coming off of different things. The essential values, yeah, it looks like it's starting to dissolve. The, Z, the D's cow, not quite as much. And then, so the Impreza, I got the most fizzing when I first dumped it in. It was got quite a bit of uh, action going on, it seemed like, when I first put it in. Okay, so we're going to do different times. I'll check them, oh, maybe in about 30 minutes or an hour, and then we'll, I'm even going to check them overnight, so. Okay, so it's been four hours. Now, I did notice that this one, this Impreza, it kind of fizzed the most, and I seem to be getting the most reaction and the most dissolving. And then probably the next is the essential val values. Um, it's definitely dissolving a lot. I got a lot of reaction, a lot of fizzing. The Keurig's doing a lot. It's actually dissolving too. It's a little bit slower, but it is actually dissolving. You know, the A-Fresh, I probably got the least amount of reaction. The vinegar, I got quite a bit of reaction, but it's not dissolving. It's dissolving a little bit, but maybe not as fast. 
Now the D Dzekal, I got some reaction, and it's it's dissolving too, just not as quick. So the Impressa, the Essential Values, and the Keurig, you know, these two are definitely a lot faster than the Keurig's actually doing a good job. Now this test is not scientific, and if you you know, when this stuff is heated up in the coffee maker, it's definitely going to uh, act a little bit different. Yeah, and I might be changing my mind. This essential values, this one might be dis have dissolved the most. I mean, everything is pretty well dissolved in there. The Impressa, yeah, seems to be like the same reaction. I might have had a little bit more hard water in there, but it did a good job too. The Keurig, it's dissolving, just seems to be a little bit slower. Yeah, the A fresh, not so much, and the vinegar. So I'm gonna let these sit overnight and we're gonna see what the results are. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. Let's see how they all did. So the vinegar did okay. Um, it did dissolve some of it, but we do have quite a bit of it left. The A fresh probably did the worst. Yep. And then the Keurig solution did pretty good. It dissolved quite a bit of it overnight. Now the essential values, that did the best. It's dissolved pretty much everything almost. The Dzale, Dzale, it did an okay job. It's got quite a bit of it descaled. And the Immersa, you know, it did an okay job. I seem to have the quickest reaction with this one, so it kind of like was doing a lot right at first, and then it kind of settled down. But it did an okay job. So essential values number one, followed by Keurig and Dzale, Immersa. And then A fresh and vinegar are probably about the same. So the essential values, it looks a little different now. They've changed the appearance. When I ordered it, I got the, I didn't get the ones that look like this, but here's what it looks like on Amazon. And it is pretty high on the Amazon list as far as number one best selling. Yeah, it's number two right behind the Keurig solution. So this test is not scientific by any means because when you run it through a coffee maker, you know, it's going to get heated up in that heating element. So that may help, that may help it work a little bit better. I've really had good results with the Keurig descaling solution and with vinegar. I, I think I'm going to start using this essential values a little bit more. I know the Imperza I found that was kind of sudsy and it took a little bit more rinsing to get out. Um, the D's, D scale, um, this one is a powder. I have used this in some espresso machines, but I haven't used it a whole lot. Now the A Fresh, I've used it a couple times. It's that big tablet. It's a little trickier to use. I didn't like it quite as much. But I do think they all do a fairly decent job. But this, this Essential Values one, yeah, it just did seem to do the most work. The Imperza seemed to kind of foam up the most right at the very beginning and then settle down. This one kind of kicked it into high gear right around the, you know, the two hour, three hour mark. So I'll be using all of these quite a bit more in my, um, descale videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. Below the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. it helps my videos. And if you want to see the latest coffee makers reviewed, hit the subscribe button. And when I release the new coffee maker reviews, you'll get a, you'll get a notification that they've been released. Again, if there's any other kind of video you'd like to see, this one just kind of came to me one night. I was sitting there and I'm thinking, you know, I could kind of compare these with, again, not real scientific results, but at least it's something. Again, I really appreciate everybody's support, and if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.